a special Super Bowl edition. That's right, no golf this week. We're talking football. Representing the Pittsburgh Steelers, six-time Super Bowl champions, Jim Furyk, the reigning FedEx Cup champion, and representing the Green Bay Packers, Wisconsin's own Mark Wilson. So I say he's going to be most remembered for the 1969 Ryder Cup when he conceded a three-foot putt to Tony Jacklin for the matches to be halved. As they say, he was magnificent in victory, even greater in defeat. That single act of sportsmanship, I think, defines the game of golf. I think that is what Jack Nicklaus is about. In honor of the late, great Seve Ballesteros, uh, we thought we would just have topic number one as a tribute to Seve. I think he was definitely one of the most magnetic players out there. Um, I think probably one of the first guys to play with true emotion. Um, you can see the passion coming out of him just a great competitive player and, and certainly will be missed by all. Well, no question about it. He was the Arnold Palmer of Europe and in the Tiger Woods of Europe, arguably. You know, he brought that tour to life with his kind of flair and his charisma and, and he's probably the greatest short game that I've ever seen. It. Sean, what's the best city on tour for uh, gastrointestinal gluttony? Well, it has to be New Orleans. I mean, all the, the fried food, you can get on the driving range, you have to go far to get good food. Listen, New Orleans is definitely one of the best. Believe me, I'm going to have probably 40 dozen oysters while I'm there, all yeah. the fried food, the po' boys, the whole thing. How about the Sonoran hot dog in Tucson <laughs> at the Accenture World Match Play Championship? It's wrapped in bacon, grilled, and then put in Mexican pastry. That is absolutely delicious. My goodness, to say that, that any a movie other than Caddyshack is the greatest golf movie of all time, I mean, you almost had to hand in your gin card. Katrick, who's the most entertaining PGA Tour player who tweets out there. I think it's Ian Poulter. The English, for whatever reason, they just don't have the politically correct button uh, <laughs> that we have here in the States. This guy will tweet anything. Matt Adams is kind of an old school guy. I thought he was going to go follow the sun with Glenn Ford on us there. I, I can smell the tweet <laughs> and then the pipe smoke emanating right through the lines here. I got to go with Boston. Nothing better than Fenway Park. Plus, this year with the playoffs, you got the Celtics, you got the Bruins. Come winter, you got people out in the snow watching Tom Brady and the Patriots. I mean, what better place to be a sports fan right now? Any L.A. guy that has the guts to pick Boston as America's best sports town needs to be recognized. I'm going to give topic number three to uh, Sean Martin. I've got a couple of rebuttals real quick. Rebuttals? I didn't know we had rebuttals. Why? I'll give Are you, you going to stand for that? I'll give you a re-rebuttal, Kendrick. Go ahead, quickly. I don't have a re-rebuttal. I didn't know we were rebutting. I haven't done the math like Steve has because I'm not equipped to do the math. I don't have those math skills <laughs> like he does. Katrick was told there would be no math this week. If Fred Albers is willing to go to his bookie for entertainment purposes only, <laughs> if, of course, uh, that we're willing to give him topic number two. Well, I have great respect for Gary, as you well know, but he's wrong again. <laughs> you know, he's got these bad allergies. I think garlic is the cure for that, and, and Gilroy is the garlic capital of America. <laughs> Well, first of all, saying he's going to win because of garlic, that argument just stinks. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> it's a two-off advantage right now. Katrick can't win it. He can uh, salvage no, no, some no. respect. I press. I press. <laughs> he can salvage some respect. We're going two and two, Melanie. <laughs> you look at all the uh, nicknames. It just makes me laugh. Every time I hear someone spit it out, eat, smoke them if you got them. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to commission me to do Mount Rushmore, I'm going to go with uh, Dean Beeman, the guy who invented money on the PGA Tour. <laughs> I'm going to go with Frank Turkinian, the man who made professional golf into a TV show. you got to have Jack Nicklaus. And for the fourth spot, I'm reserving that for the greatest celebrity pro-am player of all time. That would be Bill Murray. And I'm especially putting him on here on the other end just to annoy Dean Beeman that he's on Mount Rushmore with Bill Murray. I think we take the future of the game. I think we take Camilo Vijegas. We have an event there in Colombia. Everybody's got to wear the white suits. Everybody's got to smoke cigars. And Camilo Vijegas becomes the most interesting tournament host out there. Stay thirsty, my friends. I'm playing at Camilo's tournament. Aaron tried to square the match there by picking two guys, but I can only award him topic number three and just give him <laughs> one point. So Colin still wins the match. Over. Uh, My goodness. This is, this is degrading. I'm not coming on anymore, Smart <laughs>